everyone, it's Mari. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I have some crafty inspiration today for Studio Light. This is my A5 planner from Studio Light and today I'm using a bunch of products that I'm showing you here on the screen to create a layout or a two page spread in my A5 planner and I love how this turned out and I really wanted to share it with you today and share some of the amazing products from Studio Light. This is my A5 planner. I have the gold planner with the black interior. It's gorgeous. It does have the six ring binding in it and you can just see there how really lovely this is. It's very sturdy, very well constructed and this is one of the products I'm going to be using from the Planner Essentials line. This is the Basics SDC 52. This comes with a stamp set and coordinating dies and I'm just going to show you here on my desk I have all of those dies spread out. There are so many dies in this set. It's crazy how much you get in these different sets for the price point. It's very impressive to me and really really great value. So I wanted to show you how I'm going to create with this today. Now there is going to be a lot of hand gestures here because I did create this also for my patrons over on Patreon. So don't just kind of ignore that because uh, there's going to be some of that throughout. I'm also going to be using the Stencil SL348, which I'm showing you here. I've used that to cut out my pages, which I'm going to show you right away. I've used these stamps. Actually, I end up using all of those different stamps here today for my project. And I am also going to use this beautiful, beautiful uh, paper here. This is from the scrapbooking paper series that Studio Light carries. This is the SLUSC and this particular paper is Scrap 04. I'm going to actually use that paper to cut out my double page spread. So I'm going to use this side of the paper for my pages and I just love that subtle wood grain kind of like wintry look. I think it's absolutely stunning. So pretty and I have two winter photographs that I'm going to be documenting with today so this fits perfectly in with that. Now I do I did check with Studio Light and Ecstasy Crafts and they have restocked to a certain extent these papers. So make sure you check out Ecstasy Crafts. I have linked them up down below so that you can check and see if these uh, products are in stock. Um, I'm going to scrap these two uh, square photos. They are printed at 2.5 inches square and I've used my Tim Holtz Deckle Edge Trimmer to trim out the edges of these uh, photos to give them a little bit of a distress look. I'm using the reinforcer die from that Basics Essential set to create the reinforcers for my um, my pages today. So these are just really cool dies and it just really adds a little bit of decorative finish to the um, the holes in your planner. And you can just see that I cut those from some pink cardstock and I'm just going to use a little bit of adhesive to stick those down. Now these are some fussy cutting papers from um, from Studio Light as well. These ones are on pages number six and number 12 from that series. And what I did, I had two sheets of each one of these. And what I did was I fussy cut absolutely all of the images out from these pa papers. And I am love fussy cutting. This is not a hardship for me. I love to do it. I find that it's super relaxing and I just sit down in front of the TV in the evening and I uh, cut these all out and then I put them in a little baggie, a uh, little Ziploc bag and I put them with my collection and I've, they're all ready to go then when I'm ready to use them. And you can just see I just left that little bit of white edge around the edges of them so that they just look like um, the pre-cut uh, die cut packs that you can get with different collections um, but anyways look at these different images they're so fun I love these little mason jars these uh, the artwork on these collections is absolutely amazing it's so so pretty so this little bench goes perfectly with the photos that I'm going to be creating with today um, I'm documenting the little skating rinks out on the the lake that is really close to where we live it's just like a block away from us and in the winter time they clear the ice off and they make these little um, skating rinks. So here you can see some really cool coordinating dies with these sets and I'm going to use this paper here throughout my um, 
process to create more of the little pieces and more of the die cuts. And here you can just see there's my page. I'm showing you that again, how this die cuts the pages out so beautifully. And I love that little um, unfinished edge there, just like a torn edge. I think that's super cool. You could layer these over top of the straight edge pages as well. And here I'm just showing you the how the stamp and dies coordinate together so well with that basic SDC 52 set. So what I did was I stamped out the image on some cardstock and then I die cut the image with this die here. And it's really cool how that set has a bunch of dies that layer. So there's a larger one one yet for that that you could layer this on top of a smaller one and so on and so forth so it's very cool and there's a spot there where you could do some more stamping or writing and I used uh, the little note paper die I love this die I think it's my favorite one I used that just with a uh, just a piece of paper that I had in my stash that kind of looked a little bit distressed and I cut from that paper to create the little journaling spot for my project. Now I'm going to take some uh, Distress Oxide ink. This is, um, s let me think here, uh, Ice Spruce. This is Ice Spruce. And it just matches, this color matches perfectly with the greens that are in the, the different scrapbooking papers. So I'm just going to take my Tim Holtz um, tool there and I'm going to just put a little bit of ink on the edge of my cardstock. And I've also uh, stamped and die cut out the other uh, stamp it, stamps uh, from that basic set. And I'm going to go ahead and um, edge those with my ice spruce as well. So you can just see how you can get all of these little uh, bits and pieces stamped and cut using that basic set. So really, really cool. And I love how these two sets coordinate together. Um, Studio Light creates these essentials so that they work together. And these two particular sets, the basic set and the stencil set uh, are meant to kind of coordinate together. So I'm using my Nuvo liquid adhesive here to glue down my reinforcers and so you just see me here going in and adding those on and getting my page ready to go to start to create the rest of my project so here's that the one die cut that I added the ink to and it layers over top of that other die cut piece there I think this is genius and layering is so much fun on your projects it adds dimension and it just creates so much detail and interest to your projects that layering is life is it not so I love to layer on my projects and you can just see here I've added some foam adhesive to that to pop it up and what a really cool piece that's going to add to my project now there are other coordinating dies with that as well so there's two smaller dies for the top portion so that you could layer two pieces there if you wanted I'm going to layer one piece on top of that and I'm going to die cut that out of my white cardstock again and um, go from there. So there's that die. I've cut it from some, I've cut this white cardstock here with using that die. And I'm going to go, and get, go in again with my ice spruce and just edge that to create that detailed color edging on it. And loving how that's looking there. So, and then there's a smaller die, like I said, you can just see where I could put this one flat and then add more dimension on top of it with that smaller one. So I think that's just really cool. I think it's, it's a neat uh, thing that they've done with these different uh, sets to add all of those different little details that you can add in. So I'm gonna pop that up on some three alpha adhesive again. Just gonna use my tweezers to help me make sure that I get that on there straight. And when I'm happy with where that is, that piece is going to be almost ready. I'm going to add a little bit more stamping to that piece as well. Now, this is a grunge stamp set from Studio Light. This is the grunge set number 503. I don't know if um, where when this one will be back in stock. I know that when I checked um, the ecstasycrafts.com site when I uploaded this and this particular set was out of stock at the moment but there are other grunge sets that you can get that are very similar to this and I'm fairly certain they'll restock this so just keep checking if uh, either ecstasycrafts.com or .ca doesn't have this um, when you're ready to go. So here you can just see I'm going to use that one grunge stamp 
on top in that top section there and I'm just using some uh, VersaFine ink here in a gray I think this one's called morning mist and I'm using third and fourth generation stamping here so that it's not too dark it's just kind of light on there and then I'm going to layer um, other things on top of this and I just thought it would be cool to put that on my journaling spot as well if you are going to shop for any of these products um, at ecstasycrafts.com, I am leaving a coupon code in the description box below for you. So if you would like to purchase any of these products, if it's your first time purchasing at Ecstasy Crafts, you are eligible for a 10% uh, discount on uh, your first purchase of regularly priced products. So I will leave that coupon code in the description box below, as well as links to all of the different products from Ecstasy crafts um, down in the description box for you. I did cut a little mat for both of my photos and I used my decal edge trimmer again and you can just see here I'm going in with my uh, my inking tool here to add more of that ice spruce to the edges of my photo mat. I'll pop those photos up on some foam adhesive to give them a little bit of dimension as well and just to finish off those those photos. Now I've decided for my layout to put one of the photos in the top uh, left corner on the left side and the bottom right corner on the right side and then the um, opposite areas on the layout are going to have the embellishments. So I just wanted to balance it off in that way. So here you can just see I'm adding a little bit more ink to that other mat just to finish that off. I love how that looks. I just think it looks really nice and soft. Um, so just to tell you a little bit of background information too, Ecstasy Crafts is a distributor for Studio Light. Studio Light is a company from the Netherlands and in Canada and the US, you can purchase their, their products through ecstasycrafts.com or ecstasycrafts.ca. If you are in Canada, definitely go to the ecstasycrafts.com site and you will be rerouted to the Canadian site. And so my links down below, it might look like you're going to the American site, but you'll automatically be rerouted to the Canadian site by clicking that link that's in my description box down below. So make sure you check it out. They're pretty fun products and um, I'm just having a blast working with them for sure. So here you can see I took that little bench and I've popped it up onto my journaling spot. I added my journaling to that journaling spot with my typewriter and I'm just going to kind of bend the edges of that journaling paper a little bit just to make it look a little bit more distressed. And now I'm going to start committing and getting things stuck down and starting to add the fussy cut layers. I definitely wanted one of those mason jars on this project and I love all of those little roses and the little pops of pink I think are really, really soft and pretty and that was the reason why I chose the soft pink cardstock for my reinforcers. This is another piece of paper that I cut for from one of the dies from the basic set and that is cut from I'm just looking here paper number eight and I just wanted a li another little pop of the blue in there in that area so I just added that in and I'm going to stick that underneath that layer there and this is one of those little clip uh, stamps that I die cut using that basic set and I'm going to add the ice spruce to that as well. I'll pop that up on some foam adhesive and add it to the side of the photo and I'll add another one of those little clips to the other photo as well. Now I just love all of these florals from that fussy cut paper, the foliage as well. They just have a really wintry kind of a look but again they're so soft and pretty and this is definitely my style. I mean if you're not into the soft and pretty look, Studio Light has tons of other uh, paper lines that are much more bright and colorful. So for example, the Art by Marlene collections are so stunningly gorgeous as well, and but lots of bright colors. Um, and the, this line here that I'm using, this series of papers is much more soft and has that sort of like that really soft watercolor look to it. And I, I absolutely love it. I think it's stunning and so pretty and perfect for my photos, right? The photos that I am using here, I did put through Lightroom and they've got just like a really light and airy look to them. I really love that little squirrel. I love the owl for sure. And I'm going to add that at the end. I was thinking about another mason jar, but I end up using the critters instead. And instead of that little squirrel there, I couldn't resist those bunnies. That little cluster of bunnies is perfect for that corner. And then uh, I'm just going to continue to add a few more of 
the little rosebuds and florals around, popping things up with my um, foam adhesive again, just to fill in some of the areas in the different little clusters. Love these little, like I said, these sweet little bunnies. They're absolutely so stinking cute. So sweet. I don't know who designed these papers. I'm going to find out because they are absolutely gorgeous. And the artist that designed these is just so creative and so talented. The, the images are just so beautiful. So I'm really loving the balance here. Um, love that, that there's enough journaling to explain the photos, um, what's going on here. I'm just talking about how fun it is that, um, you know, this uh, lake is three kilometers all the way around it. And these families that live on the lake, it's just a labor of love how they look after these ice surfaces all winter for their families to go out and enjoy the hockey surfaces and the just the whole, there's actually a, a trail all the way around the perimeter of the lake that you can skate around and so it's just super fun and something that's really unique about our city where we live that I wanted to document about and you can just see that I'm almost finished here I'm just going to go through my um, my different little bits and see what else I might like to add um, just to finish things off but super super happy with how this turned out and I hope you liked it too. And please don't forget to make sure that you check out the links in the description box below to ecstasycrafts.com. Uh, they do have amazing products and they do carry uh, the entire Studio Light line. So there's all kinds of different things, right? With Studio Light, like I said, there's art by Marlene. Um, then there's this line here for the planner. Um, so many fun things if you're into art journaling and that kind of thing. But this A5 planner is my jam I love it I love the size I love the proportions this is a really really easy and simple way to create and document your memories and um, I love the size of it the size is perfect it's so easy to store and just in no time at all you've got up your layout is done you've documented a memory and I I just absolutely love it so here you can just see I'm going to finish off with my sweet little owl there in the corner and um, that is the I believe the finishing touch for my project today please don't forget to leave me a comment in the description box below let me know what you think of these products from Studio Light um, if you have any questions please make sure that you ask those questions uh, let me know what you're thinking and don't forget the um, make with Mari coupon code for 10% off your entire purchase your first purchase with ecstasy crafts on regular price products is in the description box below you can check out that link if you forget what the link is I am going to leave it there for you for that coupon code and um, yeah I had so much fun with this thanks so much for spending some time with me today I really appreciate it have an amazing day everybody stay safe stay healthy stay well look after yourself take care all of those good things I do have a few still shots at the very end and for you and an end card just where you can click on a few extra uh, videos if you're interested in watching more of my creating here on YouTube. Thanks so much everyone. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.